Once we've made some commits to our local repository, we can use source tree to see the history of that repository. In this case, we can see that three commits have been made overall to this project. Now, one of them is marked here as being one ahead. Now, what one ahead means is that we are one ahead of what's considered to be the origin of our project, the remote repository that we're tracking. In this example, this repository is something that we've cloned from GitHub. Let's take a look at that GitHub repository. You'll see the history of this project using the GitHub interface, and this is the state of the central repository for our project. And in this central repository, you can see that there's been two commits made to this project. Back to our Atlassian source tree client, we just made a commit to this project, and it's been committed locally. So this is what it means that our local repository is one ahead of the origin repository. What we want to do is we want to take these commits and these changes that we've made to the repository and share them up to the remote repository. Or in this case, we want to share them to our GitHub repository. Now, source tree is nice enough to give you a little indicator that there is a change available to push to a remote repository. And if you hover over here, it'll even say it pushes commits to a remote. And this is the operation we do. It's called the git push operation. In this case, if we just simply push the push button, another dialog will pop up and it'll ask us the branches that we wish to push and to which remote repository. In this case, we only have one remote repository. It's the origin repository we initially cloned from. And there's only one branch. So we're going to push our local master branch to the remote master branch on our origin repository. Once we do that, we'll just go ahead and we'll say OK. And it should ask me some credential information. And once that push is complete, you'll see the red button goes away saying that I've got one and that there are my three here again, the origin master, the origin head, and the master are now all in line. Now that all of these are in line and that we've pushed our commits, let's uh, verify that in the GitHub interface. And we'll just go back to our GitHub interface and we'll see now that our infinite skills Git example uh, now shows that there have been three commits made against the repository. The home page will even show that the latest commit was one that says added a new CSS file for styling the home page. That was the comment I made to the commit to my local repository. And if I click and see the commit history, you'll see a list of all of the commits that have been made along with that unique tag and the ability to click and see in the GitHub web interface the changes that have been made. And these changes are exactly the changes that I made in my earlier edition and commit to a local repository. And now that I've pushed to GitHub. With that, a push is complete. The code can be shared and will be shared amongst all of the other developers on our team.